Good morning, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Down YouTube channel. Welcome to another day of triathlon training. This video is mostly going to be about the team time trial on Zwift. That's probably what the type is and the thumbnail is. So I'm going to keep this bit very brief, but I feel like I've just got to, I've just got to prove I'm running. I'm running, guys, I'm running again. So it is now about 8 o'clock in the morning. Just out for a half an hour steady spin. Steady spin, <laughs> steady jog. <laughs> Not really looking at pace, just turn the legs over. I would normally go at lunch, but I'm trying to get up and at them a bit more in the mornings, pre-breakfast, trying to drop a bit of weight. And it gives me a few more hours of recovery before the ride tonight because I got dropped a couple weeks ago, didn't I? So I need, to, need those legs to be fresh. So anyway, I'll see you on the bike. Here we go, bike session. So team time trial tonight. Uh, the vast majority of this video is going to be the team time trial. It's going to be about 36, 37 minutes-ish, we think. So hopefully you guys are on the turbo trainer or eating food on the sofa. Whatever you want to do, I'm going to involve you in the whole race. So you're going to get the Discord chat from the team. Uh, you're going to get, uh, obviously, the racing. Hopefully I'm going to get to the finish this time. A bit awkward a couple of weeks ago when I got a drop before the end. So in the race today, there might be a couple of people you, who you know. So Matt Silk, who I rode with a few weeks ago, done a lot of running with. He's the team captain. Uh, David Raynham, who was in the video a couple of days ago uh, for dropping six stone. That has helped his whiff weight out. I am worried about him dropping me tonight. He's also in the team. And then three others from Team Innovation. So it should be a good little ride. Uh, now, I don't want to not cover this, but I want to cover it properly in tomorrow's video, as I've already said. But I'll be riding tonight on my new kicker bike and don't think that, that doesn't, isn't a big thing to me because I'm absolutely over the moon and so buzzing to have something like this. I'm going to talk to you more about it in tomorrow's video. But that's what I'm going to be racing on. What a way to christen it, hopefully, by having a good session around a, around a team time trial. So I think I'm going to shut up there, get started in the race, and uh, I'll see you there. It's a lot less stressful doing a video. I've got 15 minutes to go. I can do this clip, start the race, and then focus on that. So uh, maybe this is the future for me as we're racing. But um, let's, get, let's get into it. Angel, let me just start recording first, though. Oh, God. Uh, okay, I think we're on. I can't take one. You can only do one take. Yeah, I would love a dummy's guide on how to do a 2 2 <laughs> Go. Well, we've got a three and a half minute wait. So one that gets to six minutes, you know, there's no pedaling um, unless you're in the pairing screen for that three and a half minutes. So either go to the pairing screen or stop pedaling for that three and a half minute wait that we've got. Um, if you do move, just try and stop as soon as you notice you move, you stop moving. But I'm short today, so um, when you're on the front, we're looking at something like five, five and a half watts per kilo, and they're short bursts, so 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 seconds. As it's quite quite flat, then kind of an argument to say take slightly bigger power but shorter pulls um but we just have to play it by ear some people will take slightly longer some people will take slightly shorter it's just how you can deliver the power and how long you can sustain it for um yeah if you can try and be on the front of five if you're not on the front don't be trying to race you shouldn't don't we should really only have one on the front in an ideal world would be in a line but it's very hard to organize a line but if you are grouped up don't be fighting the guy on the front unless it's your turn to take it um yeah. evening all evening guys. Hello. yeah we don't have numbers but we don't have a fixed rotation um basically it's a case of calling when you want to get to the front and saying i'm going to go next and hope that someone's behind you to take over um and doesn't leave you standing there for too long <laughs> which is always what happens. Yeah. But, um, try, try and when you get to the front, just just say, I'm going to go for 30 seconds or I'm going to go to five minutes or I'm going to go to 5.30 and then the next person's got a chance to go, okay, when they hit the front, um, ready to go. Ideally, you don't want to take the front from second wheel. You want to try and bring some momentum from further back. So five seconds, 10 seconds before you're going to be on the front, you really want to be building up the power already. So... A 30 second effort can actually be more like 45 seconds effort because you're kind of building momentum through the pack <coughs> and the idea is that everybody else goes with you. Once you've done your turn on the front, really you want to get off the front, but almost if you stop pedaling or really slow down, um, you should be getting off and out of the way. You don't want to be making other people have to go round you. Um, so. 
drop off, get out of the way, and you might have to put a little bit of a dig in just to get on the back of the pack, and then rest, rest, and, rest and go again. The main key one, though, is don't be on a TT bike and don't pedal after the banner drops. <laughs> yeah. Everything else, is, everything else is forgivable. <laughs> I'm not mentally recovered after the last one, you know. <laughs> when was the last one? Eight, seven, six, five, four. Start spinning up. Three, two, one. Go out the door. Everyone on? Oh, I'm going to drop, I'm gonna drop out. Someone's alarm. I've got error. I can see you. No, 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 no. I'm on. What's he doing? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm Daniel, I'm gone. It says error. Oh, fuck. Oh. Okay, what an anticlimax. I don't know what happened there. I started off in well, a bigger gear than I needed to. I changed down one or two. I pressed the button, I don't know what I did. And it came up on the kicker bike. ER 16, which I take is error 16. And there's no resistance, not a lot of press, nothing changed. So we dropped out of the race. So whether I've done something wrong or not, I don't know. I, I've turned a few pedals on this at lunchtime today, but not really any intent. So I've just topped on another Zwift race now, not to be really deterred. This is about 30k. Uh, it's not a British race, so I don't know who's in it or what it is. It's about 30k, a few lumps. So I'm going to give it a good go. Treat this as if it is a race, but I'm just gutted for the innovation guys. Like you make up a team, and you know, <laughs> six of us are a lot faster than five. So I'm good to those, sorry to those that I've dropped out, but what the hell, I did a little bit of a warm up before the, before the race started, I had tested it, so hard to know. Um, you know, with some new equipment, you should probably put more, more hours into testing it before racing, but what can you do? Let's turn this fine on. And let's give this race the beans then. It's quite a lot of people on it.
I don't know the route. <coughs> oh, I was nervous to that one. I've got it on adjustable, so I'm going up a hill, it's getting harder. I'm tilting up. It's so weird. in the race, look. seat, new position, it's not quite exactly what I want yet, I can stretch it out a bit longer. The saddle's not quite high enough but as long as the seat post can go physically.
out. No point in working on front of this little group. <coughs> we might catch something from. in no man's land, about 10 seconds behind the group in front, there's no group behind us for like 10 seconds. So either put in massive efforts trying to get across the lead group, which you might not do, and even if we get there, they got 20 k's to go, so this undulating route, so not really too keen on that. Or we sit up with this group behind, and hope they're gonna go faster than we are, but at the minute, we just see them going to the tunnel now, at the minute we're just in the middle. This group behind us will catch up, I think. Hello. Hey, we're back. Catch the wind. What are you doing? Can I tell my mom to go in? Please! The blue white belt. 
it too. <laughs> if that group's working hard, you might catch the first group again. Who knows? <laughs> Stay in the group and go as easy as I can on this hill. See the power's in different between the two. My pedals and the bike. Just trying to stay near the front, but not on the front. Yeah. <laughs> 
Go too hard, okay? it's not stretching out too much. It's like one or two break up front, we'll reel them back in on the flat.
river. any climbs people are just all thinking the same thing all thinking about sprint which is fine just worried about how many gears this thing has got i mean the big ring at the front so second gear 
and then eight on the back, and it's currently set up 11 speed. You can change all this in the app, but I haven't, just left on what it came with. And it's riding like a Shimano group set, in terms of what gears do what. I've got the adjustable train on 50%, so it gets hard on the hills and easier down. I if I run out of gears on the flat during a sprint. Let's see. <laughs> This is the last gear now. I know I'm only 70 RPM, but when I get up to 100 k it's constantly increasing my 700 watts. Alright, we'll see. Okay. Do I go long range or do I sit in and try and sprint? I think I'm going to sit in and try and do some sort of explosive sprint. So quiet, just compared to the one bag. k to go. I've just got to stay close to the front now because it'll stretch out coming to the finish. There's a lot of ramp here as well. So without going too deep, I'm trying to stay second or third wheel. It's a bit 
too far out to got massive digging there and try and stay away. <coughs> oh, okay, it's a bit too far. This is how good at YouTube I am. I'm just putting the video together. I've realised I didn't actually do any sort of outro. Really happy with how the race felt. Good to not have raced with the innovation lads, but another time. Uh, good legs. I will throw... In fact, no, I won't. I'll talk about numbers uh, in tomorrow's video or another day because I, I dual recorded and I'm very, very happy with the power between my pedals and the kicker bike. So, yeah, good. Hope your training's going well. If you're watching that while you're training, hope you enjoyed the session and it hurt as much as that did. Um, so, that is it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below and I'll see you tomorrow at 4 p.m.